As autonomous ride shares flood the streets <laughs> of Atlanta, we see Waymo's yeah. going everywhere. It might not be too far along before we see something similar happening in the sky. Mm. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner took a car to Georgia Tech today to learn about the next generation of taxis that might travel by air. If you look up to the sky here in Metro Atlanta, you'll see exactly zero air taxis. But because of the work that's being done right here at Georgia Tech, that autonomous future could be closer than you think. It has a technical name. So this is our electric propulsion laboratory. And in the not too distant future, it will be working towards the not too distant future. We've seen the electrification of the automobile in the last few years. Uh, and now we're starting to see the electrification of aviation. Georgia Tech, in partnership with NASA, is helping design prototypes for the next wave of air transportation. That's why professor and aerospace engineer Brian German is leading the project, called RAVEN, at a newly constructed aircraft prototyping laboratory. There's a lot of technical challenges in terms of the noise signature of the aircraft, in terms of the battery capabilities. Which is why it's not just as simple as scaling up a drone. German and his team are working to solve those propulsion questions. There are already some private manned prototypes out there from companies like Joby Aviation and Archer Aviation. In theory, it'll be a bit like a tilt rotor helicopter, but at a greatly reduced cost, designed for mass use as a rideshare. This is really a big uh, advancement in aviation. Testing will likely go on for years, and the major concern is public perception. For now, it's time to work on what the future holds, and in the meantime, maybe turn on a Jetsons rerun. We don't know the answer to yet. We don't know how people are gonna react. At Georgia Tech, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.